Hi guys, it's Violet. Listen to your body. I am back with another um, video. Today I'm going to be doing a cold brew infusion tea. And the reason I'm doing it, doing this tea, particular one, is because it's very hot. And I'm trying to preserve the nutrients and minerals that's in these um, herbs and the veg um, the fruits that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to do in a pineapple tea, like I said. So, you know, pineapple is loaded with um, um, natural enzyme. It's um, anti-inflammatory. It's good for the skin. It's good for cough, colds. Um, it's just an overall powerhouse right here. So I'm trying to preserve the nutrients that's in there. So I won't be adding heat to this particular tea. It's going to be a, a cold brew infusion. It's going to be overnight. And we'll let it sit in this. Um, this is a one gallon of may of one gallon um container and have i have to use again one gallon because my household love tea so i'm using this here you could do a, like half a gallon you know of it so next i'm going to be using some um cinnamon sticks and some key lime with some um hot some berry ginger and some linden um, leaf. So I'm gonna be grinding this up in the food process to chop this up as um, small as possible. You know, sometimes you could, some people do it like big, but I like to chop it up so it'll get more nutrients released from the, you know, from the pineapple, get it as much as possible. So I'm gonna chop up this. I'm gonna, this is for pineapple skin with the core. So I'm gonna use two of the pineapple and you know, with the core, Chop it up in my food processor. Or if you don't have a food processor, you could um, use a knife, you know, and cut it up. And two sticks of the um, the cinnamon. Two sticks of these and uh, two tablespoons of ginger. Two tablespoons of hot and berry. And this, this um, cold tea is going to be very powerful. Hot and berry is good for the heart. And if the heart problem is, you know, it's good for, good for that. So powerful and also this also help with linden also help with the pressure so this is a powerhouse um tea right here so i'm going to get my food processor and chop up the pineapple and i will um show you the next step so continue watching yes, i'm just gonna i'm just taking some of these out of here and cutting them up in the food processor like i said before if you do not have a food processor you could always use a knife and just cut it up small and this is I'm gonna do two pineapple, but if if you have a big pineapple, you could just use that, you know, for a one gallon container. So I'm just doing this, and I'm gonna put the ginger in it too, just to make it easier to do everything. Let's work. So I just finished washing the ginger. See what I used like this is like two fingers ginger. It's organic ginger. I know this organic ginger is very strong, so um, I just want, I don't want to overpower overpower the pineapple. So maybe I use like say one finger because, like I said, the, the organic ginger is very strong. This one just I just want just a little bite. I want to taste everything. All the flavors that's in this so continue watching i'm just gonna chop this up and that's it cut this out okay this is broken so i'm gonna have to get me a new one okay yeah <clears throat> this is clean it's clean the side so this is the pineapple and the ginger. Just finished chopping it up in the food processor. And just gonna put it in here. So you would do the same, same um, step. If you wanna put it like on top of the stove, you just put this in some water like you do 17 cups of water and two pineapple skin with the core 
and you just add all the ingredients in there. Everything, whatever you want to add to this, but to put it in there. I'm putting two um, cinnamon sticks in there. And what I'm going to do next, okay, so you, you want to use the best water. You want to use like spring water or alkaline water. What I have, or filter water, what I have is my well water. It's, it's tested. There's nothing, it's, it's good. There's nothing, you know, in the water. So I'm going to be using my well water to, you know, fill this up and then I will show the next step. I filled it all the way up to the top, so I'm gonna just just put the cover on here. You know, let's sit on the counter overnight. You can put it in the fridge, but I like to drink my stuff room temperature, so I'm gonna let it sit overnight. So I will show you. So you want you want this to be infused, um, anywhere from six hours to 24 hours. The longer it is, the better it is. The better it is, you know, the more nutrients you're pulling out. So I'm gonna let this sit, and I will show you the next step tomorrow, most I will. And so this has been brewing for around 20 hours. So it's gonna be like so delicious. So I am going to strain it and add my key lime, fresh key lime juice. So you could do lemon, lime, but I have some key lime. I'm gonna put it in there. So continue watching. So you could use whatever strainer you have. I have a fine mesh strainer. So I'm gonna use this here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need both hands. So I'm gonna Shut off the camera and when I finish trying it, I will show you the next step. So continue watching. Okay guys, so there you have it. There you have it right here. So this is your pineapple cold infused drink. And it, the pineapple, you could just taste the pineapple in there. It's really, really delicious. I'm just gonna put the key lime in there and the start of one, like I said, you use whatever sweetener of your choice. Sweeten this. So I know for me, I'm gonna do, um, some honey and then my son I'm gonna use terminal sugar you know so you use what you you know want to sweeten with it so I am going to look this is so this is the um the pulp from there so I'm not gonna throw this away I still have the cinnamon sticks and I have the hot berry so guess what I'm gonna reuse these again but this time I'm gonna put it on top of the stove so this, this was a cold infusion really good delicious to get a little, get all the nutrients because I didn't put heat to it so that's my first brew right here my second brew I'm gonna put putting this on top of the stove so I'm just gonna come in and show you how to make a nice delicious nutrients rich um pineapple drink pineapple cold tea kind of pineapple whatever so thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe